epilepsy affects more than 3 million Americans, and about a third of them don't respond to medications. And as Dr. Malika Marshall reports, a local hospital is testing a new painless device patients are hoping will prevent seizures. Tess Nemi of Salem was an outgoing, sporty girl when all of a sudden, at the age of seven, her life changed on the soccer field. I immediately just stopped. Um, start staring into space. Tess started having frequent staring spells, sometimes six or seven a day. She was diagnosed with partial complex seizures, a type of epilepsy. It would just go all day and it was horrible. At the age of 27, she still has daily seizures, episodes where she just seems to tune out for a while. It could be talking to me and I'd be like, like it looks like I'm listening, but I'm really not. <laughs> Tess has tried countless medications, but like a third of people with epilepsy, they don't really work. Ongoing seizures can be very debilitating. I mean, first, they, they suffer from increased rates of depression and anxiety, cognitive problems. There's an elevated risk of suicide in this population and sudden death. Dr. Ellen Bubrick is an epilepsy specialist at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Tess's neurologist. She and colleagues are testing a new device which uses low-intensity focused ultrasound to treat patients like Tess. Where it's really just this sort of standalone single element device that will send focused ultrasound waves to a tissue not to destroy it or melt it but to modulate neuromodulation to sort of mechanically disrupt the tissue so it's not able to mount seizures. It's painless with virtually no side effects and early animal and human studies are promising. Is there hope that it might be a cure for some patients? We hope. Tess says if this device could get rid of her seizures, she'd be so hysterically happy she might need sedation. As if I was having a seizure. This machine is one of the only ones in the world that can deliver this type of treatment. Researchers here at the Brigham hope to begin preliminary clinical trials with seizure patients in the next few months. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.